Good early morning. We're so glad you're here. If you did vlogs, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. Now I'm about to go start my 18 mile long run. Did awesome fundraising. I'm gonna give shout outs for every mile marker. Um, I think we still have some spots left and I know this vlog is gonna go up tomorrow so the fundraiser sh should definitely be over by then. Um, but hey, the link will be down below if you wanna share our, our story adventure or support us through that. Greatly appreciate it, but it's a little cool. See the sun starting to creep up. It's out of getting out later than I wanted to. I want to get out at 5 a.m., but uh, that's not always the case when you got little kids around. Um, so it's it's just past seven. So I'm gonna go out. It'll be about uh, over three hours. I'll be on my feet, running around this beautiful city on this lakefront. So let's go. Look who's awake. Definitely went to bed, like fell asleep in the car, so he's still wearing what he had on yesterday. But these arrived from Amazon and he's pumped. Oh, look how beautiful this is. Okay. Gorgeous. I love this city. Check it out. As I'm finishing uh, mile seven on my long run today, looks like uh, there's a lot of training groups out doing their long runs, like their long, longest run before Chicago Marathon, 20 milers usually. Mine, I think, is next weekend. But look at this. This must be Nike sponsored. Training group has all this fun stuff about tents, support, photo ops, a cool banner here. Nutrition. It's like Epcot. Check out. She's got an aquarium. Whole different kind of view of the lake than you're used to seeing from me from the south side of the skyline. Whew. Maybe they didn't go on an 18 mile run before on the lakefront because I deviated off of the actual running path to come on the cement. There's a planetarium. And uh, I think this is the end of the road for me. So I'm just past eight miles, which I would have liked to go on to nine. Wait, 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 where's this runner going? Is this runner? Okay, maybe there's more road. Um, I think I'm gonna turn around anyway because one of my ACS friends is actually surprising me on the route to come say hey. So I'm gonna turn around here, so I might have to do a little zigzagging on the way back um, to get that extra bit of mileage because technically if I turn around right now and go home straight, it will be 16 miles, not 18. But we'll figure out something. Maybe I'll go visit Millennium Park or something. But all right, time to turn around. Gotta go back to my babies. Wow. I, every time that we like hit a fundraising goal, I am blown away. I'm speechless. I'm so thankful that you guys. <laughs> okay, let's play. We're still, we're still loving our, our new track. We got resort to do one on. Yeah, you tired? You slept in, that was good. And Teddy's still sleeping. You can see the TV in the background. Um, uh, I know, I know. Um, I can't believe it either that, um, that all of you, I don't know, choose to support us and American Answer Society and your hard earned money and anyone who shares, anyone who takes the time to just listen to our story, that that ACS, like you have chosen ACS to, um, thank you, to pour yourselves into. Um, and so we really, really appreciate that. Like, I, I know we, we say it a million times. I've run out of different words how to say it. Um, so, so cool. Thank you. 
Thank you again. We're going to keep fundraising for Chicago. We have a fundraiser for Springtime Surprise um, in the spring. Um, we're always fundraising. We're always, you know, we're always a part of Team Determination. So we love American Cancer Society. We know how much it helps families. Um, as you guys know, cancer has affected us so much. And honestly, it basically affects everybody. Um, it just happened to be that I've lost both of my parents to, to cancer. Um, and it's so important to us to raise awareness, to help in any way we can. So thank you again a million times over. We're gonna keep, we're gonna keep playing and drawing and all of that cheering daddy on while, while he's out and about. I just showed Jamesy a video of Peter out running and so he asked for his shoes on and he wants to go outside. But Teddy's asleep. We are unhappy. But Teddy's still asleep, so we can't go outside yet. So we're gonna find a distraction. Candy corn. Candy corn is our distraction. All right, here I'm adding Navy Pier, which I usually don't run because the path down there ended before nine miles. So we're gonna see how much distance Navy Pier provides. All right, Chicago, it's kind of fighting me today on my running route. The end of the pier is closed, but it'll work out because I've already, like the front of the pier to here was already a half mile, which was mean to be a half mile back, but this looks good. I'll have to look at the, check this out when we go home and see when this is happening. Welcome to the great American Lobster. Hey, there's a runner. How did she get back there? All right, heading back to the front. Look who's joined us. Good sleep last night. That was so nice of you. Back on the north side of the skyline, and what you could call like home turf running. We're back on the cement lake front that I usually run on. So I'm hoping this will help me mentally get through the last couple miles because I'd be lying to you if I told you my, that the wheels weren't falling off. But hey, that's why you spend time on the feet to get them used to this pain and abuse. Look at this beautiful lake. All right, Peter should be walking in that door any minute. And I just made him some pumpkin waffles with peanut butter for some post run fuel. We're getting gas. I don't think he'll be able to hear me. I don't know if we're in Indiana or just, just outside of Indiana. It's a lot cheaper out here than by us. Um, but we're filling up before we're going to Indiana to a baseball card shop opening. Um, oh gosh. Jamesy's refusing to nap. Just pretend like he's not there. Abu. 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 Teddy's having a good ride. He took a long nap right before we left. What's wrong? So we are not in Indiana yet. We're just just on the border. Um, but yes, we are going to Cherville to see a grand opening of a baseball card shop that our family has ties to. My older sister Jenna and her husband Billy will be there. Um, and so yeah, we're going to check it out with the kids. I don't know how things, I'm hopeful, I am hopeful that even though James did not sleep, he's been in good spirits. And then we also have an hour car ride back. So if anything, that time will just be a little bit later. Jamesy? Stay with us. <laughs> the poor deer. We're here. Both of these children should have napped on the drive. But did either of them nap on the drive? No. So it'll be all right. Here we are. Baseball card exchange. Grand opening. Grand opening. And let's scope it out. Maybe Gary B will be here. I got specifically told by some man who lives in Tampa that for even considering coming here, we should get our Italian card. 
He is a Sicilian, so like I kind of expect that kind of response. But this is an old pregnancy craving that we never scratched, and we just want the breadsticks. So we made it, Sarah. All right, we've got the first round of breadsticks. I got a drink called a Blue Amalfi. This is the whole reason why we're here. The salad's coming. Yeah, I got the unlimited soup salad and breadsticks, and I'm very happy. I started with Zuba Toscana. I don't know if I'll venture to get another soup or not, but I don't know. I shouldn't underestimate myself. What did you get? The ravioli. James are split. Goodbye. Where are you going? We left. It was really good. We're home and gonna pretend like it didn't just take a long time for Peter to find a party. But Can you say that we have, like, we have family going to see the Lumineers. Mm hmm. They're at Wrigley tonight. And so, like, we were like, oh, you can take our parking spot. Yeah. It's no big deal. We we're not gonna be home. Parking. Yeah. Well, then it took 40 minutes for <laughs> James and I to find a spot. Oopsie. And Teddy rolled over over there. Teddy. Teddy keeps rolling over and immediately regretting it. Okay, so when we were at the card shop, we were like, what should we get? You know, we're not big baseball people, we're not big sports people, but what they did have was this. Disney collector cards from 1991, so we got them, and we're gonna do, we're gonna do an unboxing. Alrighty. 15 collector cards per pack. Evie definitely thinks that it's food. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Teddy thinks Peter's a lovely singer. Oh. Oh. First pack. These World Tour are like on the cover and they were most enticed me because they remind me of World Showcase. Pluto's Tale of India. Favorite stories. This is like all about Pluto. Donald's Crime. Cute pasta a la Pluto. These are so singing cute. Another world tour. Donald the Gondolier. Hmm. Oh, this is a cool little checklist. <laughs> so much of Pluto. Oh, Daisy. I wonder if these are all classic characters. We won't do every single pack, but this is so cool. Wow. Look at our matching jammy boys. Everybody's tired. Say good night. So <laughs> oh gosh. Alrighty, the boys are asleep. We're getting ready for bed ourselves. We're kind of saying forget all of our responsibilities um, and just going to bed. We need the rest. That means that this will be a two-part vlog. So get ready for our day in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. It'll come right after this. We are going to be there with our best friend, Lauren, and her family. Good night, and it is good to be home. Bye-bye, birds. Or are you saying, good morning, birds. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come back every day. All right, we are going to Jewel James night. It is 7 a.m. It's an early start for us because we're driving to our friend Lauren and Mikey's family house in Lake Geneva. So, um, because we're gonna, it's gonna be like a beachy pool relaxing kind of day, um, rather than getting just any old kind of beer, I am going with James to Jewel to pick up Athletic Brewing Company, which we've talked about before. They're usually at Run Disney, the more recent Run Disney expos. Um, it's technically a non-alcoholic beer, but it's, it was made by Ath made for athletes by athletes but specifically by runners like trail runners out west it's very very good pretty much the only non-alcoholic beer that i really like um but 
I'll probably do a mix of these and just a, a few normal beers. But if not, then it's just these athletic brewings because into the thick of getting into the thick of running season. So that'll be better for my health. Prick is on us. James's favorite store. I think it's, uh, it might probably be a state of Illinois thing maybe, or maybe it's not, I'm not sure. They don't sell alcohol until 8 a.m., which is inclusive of the non-alcoholics that have like 0.3 to 0.6% alcohol in them. So we're here just 45 minutes too early, but a nice walk to go on with James. All right, second stop, it's Trader Joe's. Gonna bring some dippies. Got jammy music in here. Um, but yeah, you can't relax at a lake house without dips. Alrighty, I got some hydrangeas. I got vegan buffalo dip and green Greek goddess dip, um, pretzel crisps, and apple cider donuts. Look at this spooky skyline. It's the best skyline in the world. James, we got here, and it's cold, and we didn't bring sweatshirts. I brought sweatshirts for the kids. Oh, great. Well, that's, that's all that matters. <laughs> but I would love to get a sweater um, and get cheat out of... You should get, like, a light to me sweater. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at this cutie patootie. <laughs> The kids are playing in the car because why not? Whoa. Lucy found the sunroof. Where are you guys going? Are you going on a drive? Coco? We're enjoying our time at the lake house. It's a little chilly. We were outside eating dips. Now the kids requested Coco. <laughs> we have Teddy in the carrier route facing for the first time. He was kind of squawking, so I was like, you know, let's go look at flowers because they have beautiful flowers in this backyard. And he seems pretty happy, so I thought maybe he'll go in the carrier. And I thought, hey, maybe. We'll go flower facing. See pretty flowers? Beautiful. You just gonna chew on that? That's fun too. Teddy is a big kid. Yeah, going forward. He, he's probably like to chew on it just like. Kind of wobbly, but because he's kind of like leaning forward and chewing this at the same time. Yeah. We got some brats and some hot dogs grilling. Gonna be a good dinner. Teddy's relaxing binky in a way. He's a good kid. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi, little update here. 
We're getting gas. We left uh, Lauren and Mikey. We had a great just day relaxing the kids playing grill, just chit chatting, catching up. Um, it is though like an hour and a half to a two hour drive from us. So we left, it's about 8.20 right now, but we're filling up gas because on the Illinois-Wisconsin border, cheap gas compared to the one right by Wrigley Field. So we're filling up the tank now. Might find a drive through to get a cup of joe. Um, and then we're gonna head home. Hopefully be home before 10. So a really good day, a lot of fun. I wish we could have done that more this summer, but you know, life happens and it goes by quickly. We're home, Teddy Head. The worst drive of his life. Cried the entire ride home. It's also another night where it's like just emphasizes that our windows are in the perfectly t wrong orientation to weather, and we don't have a balcony because it is like 68. Beautiful breeze, and I'm trying to figure out a way to like which way can we organize, like open the windows, put a fan in them to pull the air from outside in to feel this beautiful, beautiful end of summer breeze. This movie is crazy. It's kind of stupid, but we do love it. Sarah went random and went on, put on crazy, stupid love. So we're trying to get Teddy calm, and Sarah has gotten Teddy calm. James falls asleep in the drive. We transfer him into his room. Hopefully he stays asleep. And now we can relax after two very, very busy days. Three? Three very, very busy. Today's Sunday, yeah. But tomorrow's the holiday. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.